Those famous cherry trees along Washington, D.C.'s tidal basin inching closer to peak bloom, something so many people look forward to with the arrival of spring. We are learning new information on how the Park Service plans to protect the trees for generations to come. Megan McGrath tells us about the repair work and why the plan doesn't come without a little disappointing news. With the cherry trees on the verge of blooming, thousands of visitors will flock to the tidal basin. It's a good time to visit because this time next year, things won't look the same. A $113 million construction project gets underway late spring, early summer. It will take three years to complete and roughly 159 cherry trees will have to be cut down, including Stumpy, the gnarled tree that became a social media sensation for its determination to bloom despite its decaying tree trunk and lack of branches. Oh, I think that's so sad. I think that we should keep Stumpy some way. Maybe you could dig around him and bring him back. <laughs> The National Park Service says the work is necessary to repair the old seawalls that surround the Tidal Basin and West Potomac Park. They were built more than 100 years ago to keep the Potomac River at bay. But the walls are now crumbling and sinking. With rising sea levels, water flows onto the Tidal Basin twice a day at high tide, submerging trails and damaging cherry trees like Stumpy. The plan is to get the flooding under control and then replant the cherry trees. We are losing cherry trees every year due to the flooding and they can't be replaced because the flooding is still is still taking place. So, you know, we will rebuild, reconfigure the seawalls. We're going to anchor them in bedrock, which was not done originally, so they won't settle anymore. We're going to raise them to a level that uh, the, the rising sea level um, won't come over the, uh, the the walls. The McFarland family is visiting from Iowa. While they're sorry to see Stumpy and the other trees go, they agree that the seawalls need to be fixed. To me, they should just take them out. They're dying, put new ones in for the future. Uh, you, you know, if they're dying now and you fix them a little bit, they aren't going to last very long. Megan McGrath reporting there.